Not only do you save room, save your game, but they also re fully replenish your energy. Oh, AKA good, because I needed that. AKA your HP. So. Good and you're fully stocked, so keep going on. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, is that you? Is that you, dude? Who else would it be? Hey, Promitas. Hey, Bleach. Hey, hello. I haven't met you. Uh, my nice name's Promita. I'm, I'm EX Porygon. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Promita hey, here is one of my old friends on Skype before I even met you, Porygon. Sensor he was the... Yeah. yeah. Oh. If you can, can you link Promita to my hitbox for the stream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me go ahead and do that. I'm sorry. I just I just came back from work and I just have a I just had a long day really. So there you go. There you go. it's cool. Yeah, yeah for me also knows, but he but he played more of the GameCube version than the Wii version. Okay, um, it's mostly the same. They just made a lot of yeah, cool improvements. Yeah, he, like the, like really the only thing was that the GameCube version I think is the one that's more favorable to speed run, but that's it. Oh yeah, because they fix sequence breaking glitches, but I don't. Yeah. Know. <laughs> Which I think you said. Retro you Studios explore... doesn't exactly like that apparently. Which I think you said you knew some for your LP. Didn't you say what? that, Promita, that you knew some for your Metroid Prime LP? Uh, yes. I never really, and I would never really showed them, but I, I did. I was aware of a lot, Con. like a lot of them. I, I'm having some. <laughs> yeah, you are. You better get that sorted out right now because it's kind of important. To... Let me try and center it a bit. Is that okay? That seems to be. No, no it's I can't. Not... What is with you? You do. <laughs> How do you play Wii games on this thing? <laughs> this is my first time actually playing a Wii game on this TV. Because normally I'd play downstate. Here's. Oh my God! Is something blocking it? I hope it's not the sun. The sun. Why is it still light outside? It's like. Five o'clock. Eh. It's four where I am. No, it isn't. Dude, I'm like Almost. in center. And I'm like in San Central Standard. It's seven, and there's still light outside. Wow, it's like completely dark here. But um, it is not four o'clock where you are. That it's is a lie. Five now. Thank you. That's what I said. Hold on a moment. I think I. Have... Oh, hold on. I think I'm gonna try and cover the curtains to see if that helps. That's not gonna help. It can't be the sun. That's weird. I'm, I'm really trying to open up it. <laughs> it's just getting darker where I live faster. I don't know. Mm. It, it, we're supposed to get a time change like in November 1st, so. Uh, that, that sounds about right. No, no, no. Only a bit box would like to actually cooperate with me. That'd be great. All right, I'm back. Welcome Let's back. See how this. Okay, there we go. Now it's working better. It is? Uh, whatever. I don't know how that worked. All right, go on when you're ready, then. Okay. That works. Good thing you stopped right before the cuts on. <laughs> The actual person's LP that got me interested to want to try out this game point was actually Permita here, since he also oh. LP'd the game. And I uh, vaguely remember some things on it, but maybe he can say, tell some of his moments more. But I don't know if it, let's not let's not get distracted from what we're seeing here. Remember that dead thing from before? Well, here it is, alive. Meet the Parasite Queen. Uh, good job scanning it right away. That's a good habit to get because bosses obviously are a one-time only scan. Um, okay, so this boss in particular, if you scan it, um, you it will won't... target its mouth automatically. It's That's a... right, and this is the only boss that does that in the entire series. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. what here's my theory. I think Retro Studio wanted that to have wanted scans to unlock additional ways to beat enemies or bosses rather. They wanted to make that a feature of the a feature of the game, but never really oh. did it outside of this one boss. So I guess they thought scrapped it, <laughs> thought thought better of it, didn't think it would work, something like that. This is a, I think this is a remnant of that earlier thinking. Oh, now, all right, to dodge that guy's attack, you just have to sidestep. It's really easy. So just don't uh, stop moving. You didn't moving. tell me how to sidestep. You you move. Oh. You can press the jump button as well. 
to uh, ah, uh, yeah, quickly to do, a, to do a pseudo dash, but you don't have to do it for this guy. He's too slow. Or I guess this girl, because it's a queen. Yeah, whatever. This 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 person, this this parasite. I don't really care. It's a monster. Just kill it. Poor guy. Typical. Typical poor guy. field only blocks a certain section of her once. Yeah, I get. Oh, I see it. Nah, I mean, you yeah. Oh, interesting. This is don't home in. That's a cool thing. I didn't know that. The more yeah. you know, I guess. I don't know. Are you ahead of the force field? I am trying. How did that not hit? Oh my I God. have no clue. <laughs> this is hitting way too long. Alright, I'll be frank though. When I first played this game as a kid, this boss killed me a number of times, which is pretty sad. <laughs> there we go. I don't know why the, you were the in boss that game. killed me was the is uh the most is probably the next is the boss that's gonna be bleach bleach is gonna be fighting the, this next boss this boss killed me the next the most like horribly a lot of times the every, next boss that bleach is gonna fight every boss early in the game killed me a million times I was so bad at this game it's amazing but anyway parasite queens defeated if you're really good you can totally kill her in like not even two seconds. <laughs> Kill so fast and kill her. Okay. It's a really push over boss. That's your tutorial boss, essentially. So congratulations, yeah. you beat it. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm pretty what sure I can answer myself this question, but can you do any missile canceling with this? Um. This yes, you still can. That is the one thing they did not change. Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering. Well, you do still can. All right, so that's another that's another turret shut off panel. So the turrets up ahead are off. Don't bother with them, just run. Whoa, what the? The space pirates are fighting one of the creatures that got loose out of a tank, and then it blew up. Uh, didn't you say in your LP that that space pirate had a very powerful gun? Uh, Permita. <laughs> if that if that space pirate survives, it'll kill you. Wait, wait, I've never seen it survive. It always blows up. That's the thing, is that if you shoot it in a way... If, if you sh because you can move that space pirate when you fire at it. Lock on! If you fire at that space pirate and you actually have it move, it'll avoid the blast, Where's and it has Vulcan oh, cannon that will right. automatically almost kill you. Oh, wait, Why? Why is that there? Is it like a, wait, is it like a regular space pirate from later in the game? Is that what it is? No, it basically... It, its shots are... It, Basically fires like five shots in, in the same attack. Maybe so it's a special enemy design that multiplied by five. Interesting. And, and it shoots them in an extremely rapid succession. It's insane. I guess it's a special enemy design for that cutscene and is meant to fight you. <laughs> I can only imagine. All right, so you don't have to use a morph ball here, but it's much. It is much faster, so continue doing that. You're in the ventilation shaft now. I know. Also, I wouldn't worry about the time limit. It's extremely lenient. Yeah, I'm. I don't care. Have to I stop am. Smell just... the roses to actually not get out of time. You have to wait here for a moment. There we go. God damn. A short moment though. That was weird. There's like some kind of luck to how long that thing takes to explode. How about speed? No. Speaking of which, there are a lot of speed runs in this game, and they always involve using tricks to skip past parts of the game. It's entertaining. It's interesting to see what kinds of things you can do with it. Yeah, more defense turrets up ahead. Remember, missiles are really good at taking those things out quickly, as long as you lock on. You have to let go of the I button. Was... You have to let oh, you have to let go of the button of the lock on button and press it again to lock on to a new enemy. You can't just oh. keep holding it down. If the first enemy dies, you have to stop locking on and then press it again. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes more sense. All right, so that must that probably why I didn't realize that until now. That's probably what but difficult. That in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't move away from the door first of all. 
<laughs> the door will close if you walk away from it. Yeah, even even though it's like the door just says reject it and it just leaves you out. <laughs> Whoa. I think I think it's going to. I, I agree. I think it is going. I think Bleach not locking on is going to be the thing that I harp on the most, probably. Unless he gets better at it, we'll see. Yeah, the Bleach. You like really all you really have to do is just hold the Wii mode as center as as best you can, and and then just hold it there for like the rest of the game. You can do it. The funny thing is, I actually, I have to hold it and wait diagonal to look up at the sensor bar. To be, on it, to be honest, you better you're happy you should be happy you're playing the Wii version because if you weren't, locking on is even more important in the game you won. Can't shoot for shit without locking on in that game. Oh look Hello! An old friend is here. How did he get here? Well, if you play other Metroid games you may recognize that as Ridley the Space Dragon, whatever the hell is. Uh Okay, so how do I Damn it ain't too happy that he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Z to grapple? That's right. Still the same. There you go, good job. You got in your first try. Yep. I think don't. I think I, think yeah, I did. You won't, you won't see that item for the next couple of hours. <laughs> yeah, you won't see it for like five more hours. Oh wait, no, spoiler alert. No. Hold on, it's gonna happen right here actually, so whatever. It's already deactivated! Why are you shooting it? <laughs> He wants the missiles, I guess. Oh, Even I though you're so. gonna lose them, but whatever. Oh, uh, no, you don't don't say that. He doesn't know that yet. Wait, you haven't played Prime? Nope. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss the part I said that your LP got me interested in wanting to do it, and I can vaguely remember some stuff in it? Okay, so here's a thing. Random explosion decides to cause all of your power-ups to go away. Have fun with having nothing. Like, literally everything you've been using for the last 15 minutes are gone. Now, this is what the game likes to tell you. Hey, you remember all that stuff you had and it was really awesome? Well, you have none of that now. You actually have nothing. You only have your standard beam. It, Crap, I... It's, this area uh, is... I hate... I actually hate this room, too. It's really uh, confusing, but don't worry, you have plenty of time. Yeah, I, the only reason why I was able to get through this room easily is because I memorized the entire layout of the freaking game, so... I, I memorize it. Wrong oh. way. Yeah. Oh wait, that is the right, the right way. Never yeah, mind. You don't have to scan them, by the way. Do not go into the fire. Yeah, you had to scan it last time, but it's automatically doing it this time. Just gotta wait for a second. Sorry. My bad. Don't walk into the fire. That is the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to kill me, Porygon. Maybe. <laughs> He's always trying to kill me. You have to stand that fire for like a solid minute to actually die from it, though. Even in Halo, he kills me on purpose. Like Premier, who killed me on accident. Pay attention to the cutscene. So, you get a brief snippet of Ridley's theme, which you won't hear for like five more hours. Um, and in pursuit, Samus heads to the planet because he's not happy that Ridley's still alive. I think Samus escaped the frigate. I don't know, but that icon kind of tells me so. <laughs> Well, I believe we have. I mean, just, just keep in mind that like the GameCube version has none of this achievement stuff at all. Just that's just true. It's it's a thing that was added to the trilogy version to um to be more in line with what they added to Metroid Prime Three, which yeah. did have that kind of achievement stuff. The only way you yeah. get it in this game are for getting certain numbers of scans and for beating bosses. So it's not really it's not really that integrated in this one. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, but. Anyway, okay. welcome to. I'll let the game show it. I'll let the game tell you. All right. After this cutscene, hey Bleach, um, do a side strafe and then get yourself the space jump boots. Oh wait, you can't do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what he's saying is that there is a a late game rel or mid game item, I guess, that is actually adjacent to this room. You're not supposed to be able to access it, but with weird physics tricks, you can. And I don't believe that's something that's changed, so you probably still can get that. Oh. No, have fun trying. You're going to be at... You can barely look around and aim your gun. Um, you're not going to ever be able to do that trick. It probably yeah. takes... Yeah, basically, you see that... You see that you, if you're pointing right towards that room right there, that item is, like, way... is like, right, to, right behind where that, right, where that really far room is at. Turn. Uh, I think you got to turn around for that room. There are like five doors in this room, and one of them leads to... Yeah, the, the one behind you is really... That's, that's, that's it. The, that's it. The one on that cliff, ah. that's hard to get to. But don't worry about it. You'll get it later. 
Okay. And and you know what, Bleach, I I think I'll probably be enough just to advise you when when those missile scans are coming up to because. Oh, I'm definitely going to. When the missile scans are coming up, I'm telling them for sure. I think he got all the ones on the frigate, so we're good there. Oh, okay, yeah, because I, I, I know for sure those parasites, those things are missing. He scanned them before you showed up, I made sure of it. Those are the easiest ones to miss because they run away from you and they're annoying. And you can kill them all. And if you, I mean, you're running away, you're generally trying to run away, not scan things. Beetles. Yes, yeah, beetles. Ha get used to these guys because they're everywhere. They're easy. They are, but you would have an easier time if you locked on. Back. <laughs> There's only one way to go. And you're going the right way. There isn't one other door you can go out from the um, from the landing site, but there's no real point in going there, so don't bother with that. Yeah, there is still one thing I remember uh, from Permita. Uh, I think you remember the furnace, Permita, for the GameCube version? What about the furnace? Oh, God, no, not the furnace. What's wrong with the furnace? <laughs> Do you want to say it, Permita? Uh, the furnace... Okay, are, are you talking, are you referring to what happens with the game if you approach the furnace a certain way, or the boss? A certain way. Okay, so what happens in the GameCube version at least, and then in the, in the very first versions, the furnace room has a very nasty tendency to freeze every now and then? It does? Oh, yes. wait! Wait, I think I've experienced that a total of once in my life. It, for some reason on my playthrough, it happened like five times. <laughs> The GameCube does have some strange things, like for example, on going to this first elevator up ahead, that can, on the first time that can freeze. I've seen it happen before. Yeah, I, I ran into that tendency, but that only happened to me like once. That's the only one I know for sure that happens. And but, a lot of enemies around here, Zoomers, are actually an enemy that are from a lot of Metroid games, including the two-dimensional ones. They're pretty common, but they're almost harmless if you don't touch them. The blast caps yeah, are not a gonna have to experience any of that issue in, in this playthrough at least, so. Not any freezing. That's good. Well, just our well, luck. I think they you, probably fixed uh, a lot of the freezing bugs, so. Well, unless also if you go to that, uh, to the. Well, unless you experience what was that one area in the Chozo area where you fight Ridley before you fight a, a certain boss. <laughs> I already said it anyway, so why the fuck am I trying to not to <laughs> not say it? Okay, probably not worth killing that thing. It's no reason to. They're up there. You're not going up there anyway. Uh, I'm gonna tell you not to go up there because there you're going to reach a dead end, and you're just gonna have to come back here anyway. Head but there is a scan. I guess you can get it. Get here. <laughs> There's one scan in this room you didn't get, but big deal. Uh, oh. what, what would that be then? You have to look up and see an enemy crawling around with spikes on it. Oh, yeah, I see. It, it's invulnerable to your attacks. Yeah, because you don't have missiles right now. That's how you normally kill it. But since you lost them due to uh, plot convenience, um, you cannot. A gamer. A gamer. A gamer. I don't know. That's well. a mollusk. Interesting. I never read that part. <laughs> Stone creeper. Hey, you probably it's... knows how much he likes creepers, right? Oh my Especially god! Especially fire creepers. Why, why did you even scan anyway? I don't remember that scan. That's what? What is that? It says he just scanned some moss. <laughs> it says some moss. Oh, Greg, up some moss called the stone creeper. Well, I guess it creeps up stones. So, all right, now we have scanned. Now we have scanned moss. Shall we move on? <laughs> yeah. Careful of the sap sacks. They, as you notice, they explode quite violently if you're too Fire close. Out. <laughs> or they'll kill everything else around them too. So, yeah. like they can be used. Sacks, fire at them. One's <laughs> not close to them. I'm just waiting for Bleach to kill himself on a sap sack. Uh, that happen? would be the best thing ever. No, it would be funny if he killed himself late game with a sap sack. <laughs> if you somehow manage to do that by accident, oh, I will commend you. <laughs> I'll give you like fifty dollars if that happens. Uh. Don't you dare do it on purpose. We need the three of us need to sometime do a Halo game. No, like for some reason he just falls into a giant pit full of sap sacks. Guys, because I have fun playing Combat Evolved with you, Porygon, despite all the times you've killed me, and 
For me, it was just fun playing Halo 3 with you. Well, welcome to the Chozo Ruins. Now, the thing you, now, your suit's giving you a, a hint. It's basically telling you where you where to go. Since you have me, a walking guide, you don't really need it. So you can actually turn those off in the options if they bug you too much. But just to get it off your screen, press 1, and it will show you where you need to go. Okay, um... Uh, right, case... Off, off, I guess. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to bother. But yeah, um... That room there. Not that it shows you how to get there, just the room that you need to get to. Yeah, that that room that room's pretty bad. Oh, there it is. That's one. Oh, Chozo door. Yes. Oh, you noticed that. Good. I was gonna point that out. I was actually gonna scan the out to make sure I scanned it, and I just scanned that instead. Ah, good. Well, now you know what to look for. The um, inscriptions on the wall that kind of have that weird animation effect to let you know they're there. Once you scan them, they kind of goes away. But keep an eye out for that. Sometimes they're hidden, so. Anyway, welcome to the Chozo Ruins. Now, if you don't know what the Chozo are, and I imagine you don't, because I don't think you played many Metroid games, the Chozo are basically the ancient bird-like race that are responsible for creating Samus' suit and raising her as a child. Not on this planet, though, on a different planet. But, same Chozo. They're, they're kind of, they're kind of like... A lot of them are kind of, like, not around anymore, so they kind of have a lot of ruins. Chozo Ruins is a pretty common thing in kind of games. And there's a lot of beetles. This is why I told you to use these guys, because every time you come back to those, this room, the beetles will be... Well, almost oh. every time. Oh, hi. There you are. You keep walking out of their range so they burrow underground. Like, if you want them to not do that, walk closer to them and stay close to them. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anyone recently. Okay, you don't have to kill them all, do you? Like You really? don't. You can walk past enemies, too. They're not... I like guess you... I'm just in the habit of killing everything. Alright, so I want you to scan that door before you forget. Oh, no. I'm just don't here to me. Not that. Blast shield on. So I need an explosive weapon to damage it. AKA missiles. Which you don't have because. So believe it or not, that's actually one of the easier scans you can probably miss in the game. Because if you blow up all the blast shields with missiles before you scan any one of them, you can't scan them anymore. And there are a number. There are a lot of them in the game, but a finite number. Yeah, and I always just forget to show because you because you sort of like your mind just sort of desynthesized, you know, like just doing certain things because you're always like speed running. I you agree. just tend to forget to scan stuff, and you realize, oh wait. <laughs> I'd probably do the same thing if I weren't if I weren't specifically reminding myself every time to scan those blast shields, just because I know yeah. it's an easy thing to avoid. Yeah, it's just something that you can forget about so badly. Absolutely. Okay, so I can't scan well, that thing up there. You you can. Well, yeah, you can. Yeah, just... there's apparently some kind of interference, which. <laughs> or, it's really what? odd. I don't know why they do that. Just tell us what it is, because. Because by the time you get up there to know what it is, you're going to have it already. What? Oh, so that door is weird. That that door is a one-way only door for some reason. Oh, yeah. Don't walk into those guys. Very good. I'm glad you didn't do the beginner's mistake of waltzing down the hallway into those guys. Those are scarabs, and they explode violently. Shoot them from a safe distance, and they won't kill you. I, I've tested it before. You can actually die at full health here if you walk into every single one of them. At least if you don't have an... at least with the health you have right now. Uh, what's... Uh, I forgot these guys' names. Ion. Uh, Ions. I was gonna call them, like, Octo something, but I they must be confusing with a different enemy. You can shoot them once and then they'll stop firing your lasers, or you can just dodge them. Yeah, just don't bump into them while they have... I don't know why, but they can still damage you if you bump into them. It's a tiny them. amount of damage. I think, like, one hit, actually. One energy. Oh, I thought it was more. Yeah. Maybe it is. I feel like it's it's really minor, whatever it is. More Chozo. More Chozo War. You can read that at a later date if you want. Oh, Whatever's dude, you're going to beat, like, my favorite enemy in the game here in this room. Oh, I can already know what it is. Something tells me what these are. Oh, you're probably going to hate him, too, so have fun. Walk forward, or nothing will happen. Or... A beetle? No, not a... Not a beetle. Two beetles. <laughs> oh. 
No, there's more enemies in here that you haven't seen yet. Keep going. Alright, get up here. Oh, what the? You hear them, right? Yep. Not the bees! Not the bees! Well, in this case, these are wasps. Or wasps! You saw them on the Oh, uh, well, we know how we are with wasps, aka our Minecraft series. Click on. Yeah, but I'm not afraid of these guys, but they're friggin' annoying. What? Oh, hi! Where'd you come? <laughs> they're de they're dive bombing you, that's what they do. <laughs> yeah, be careful with these guys. Ah. Uh, I wouldn't waste too much time on them because they will actually respawn as long as you don't kill their hive and you are currently unable to kill their hive. In that case, I am out of here. I suggest you don't go to don't go forward though. There's another door out of that room. You want to go there first. You really do. Another door where? Go back in that room. Where the bees the were. There's another door there. You have to jump across the platform. And they're not gonna. They don't shoot stuff at you. They're not the stinger ones. They have to ram you to do damage. Okay, you got rid of all of them for now. They'll come back in a moment. But you want to head in that door first. Ah, I see. This. Yes, this is important because there is a very real chance you're gonna die up ahead. Because I have actually died to what's coming up a lot. Because you really don't have much energy this early in the game. It's surprisingly difficult. 